All right, people. Another update. Got the windows in. Not all of them. Most of them. Man, they look a lot better. These these little ones that verticals. He just had made single picture windows. Same way these horizontals. They used to be horizontal sliders. He just went with big picture windows. Love it. Love it. We're coming right along. Had an issue with the roof leaking. The contractor, I don't know that he's a contractor yard. This is a kitty yard to do it. Screwed it up royally. And uh, uh, you could see like here where all the water stains was. It's coming in. Um, kid said he, yeah, he'd been working on mobile homes all his life. And he knew blah, 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 blah. And, uh, you know, I, every time I hear a blowhard, it always throws up red flags. But I'm not the one hiring him. And I warned him against probably hiring him. Look at some of his work, and he he went ahead and hired him. So anyway, you live and you learn. Uh, windows in, electrical in. Pretty much all electrical electricians are gonna uh, like just a little bit. Getting it all done. Uh, heating air gobs out today electrician run one line for the furnace got it up and running so we have heat in here now let it go ahead and get down to 20 degrees again so anyway I uh, still got to do that window you know, plumbing's roughed in you've seen that in other videos um, like I said new window man these things look great uh, and I couldn't believe it. I think there was I got this one back here. I'm kind of worried about this and probably had to reframe that one. That seal's all rotted. This one is uh, kind of rotted, but I think it's all right. So anyway, guys, that's where we're at. Um, he was telling me these windows and I don't know how many there were. I thought he said 13 and he gave a little over two grand for all of them. They're brand new. They are. Uh, new manufacturer windows. That's what you use on uh, mobile homes whenever they have a flange on the outside. So, um, hey, hope y'all uh, enjoy this update. Um, I try to bring them in every week. Like I said, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. So, uh, anyway, hope y'all enjoy that. Uh, got any questions, comments, leave them down below. Um, I'm trying to get the total cost without being nosy. And so, um, because I have no idea. Uh, I know he, like the, he's received some outlandish quotes and estimates. And I told him those are the, I don't want to do it, but I'll quote you a high price just in case you do choose me that way. I'll make a lot of money doing it. Top quote. Uh, I've gave them out. If you're a contractor or handyman, you probably gave them out on jobs you didn't want to do. And I think that's mostly what he's getting. He was, um, Quoted twenty six thousand dollars to put new siding on this, uh, and uh, so uh, no, it's um, needless to say he didn't go that route. So anyway, guys, girls, like and subscribe down here someplace. Yeah, down here, and uh, put it on playlist. Click the little bell icon. I'm trying to think. Seem like we've got some. Oh, well, the doors came in. That's what it was. Those well, interior doors. Just old, what I call Formica doors. Um, I got these from the building supply. I don't know what he gave for those. But uh, any, he got a, I think, outstanding uh, deal on the window. They're crest marks. I don't know nothing about them. Except they got a bunch of sticky foam on them. So anyway, guys, girls, um, you know, I think there'll be money ahead. Plus, this thing is a custom layout. It's like he wants it, not like a trailer manufacturer wants it. I hear a lot of people go, well, it's still a mobile home. Hey, it's going to be built better than any other mobile home coming off the factory floor, even ones today, because these things are, we, we've, he's, a lot of things he's spared no expense, like the floor decking. Uh, some other things, he cut some corners, but hey, we'll, we'll get those taken care of. And anyway, next is the insulators. Uh, and then the sheetrock, we're waiting for another rain. See, every place that there was an X here, water was just coming in. 
uh, that day and that guy just really screwed the pooch and then couldn't get a hold typical contractor man I, I'm gonna do a, a, a video on that one these days typical contractor reason they get bad name couldn't get a hold of the guy called all around for a week couldn't that uh, guy wouldn't return the number or return a call stuff like that you just couldn't get a hold of the guy and um, so anyway finally took uh, calling somebody else who knew him well i think they called from a number uh one of his uh grandkids or his um daughter's number so that they the contractor didn't recognize the number and he answered right away and then when he found out and, and he was uh there was some heated from what i understand some heated discussion so anyway if you contractor man don't screw people over it, word gets out and that's why you go out a bit one of the biggest reasons you go out of business so anyway um and you know the thing was all he had to do if he he probably underbid it i don't know all he had to do is put a decent bid in okay he got the job if he underbid it look at all the problems it's going to cost him and including now is talking about suing him uh because he also put the cool seal on the roof and i was up there taking pictures earlier and where the rust was, I mean, there were some swatches he didn't even hit. I mean, you could just see right through it. He just did a crappy job. So anyway, I'm sorry, squirrel. Enough for this update. Um, Donald, blue collar DIY, will catch you on down the road. Stay tuned for the next update. Hopefully we'll have sheetrock up, insulation sheetrock up, I don't know. They're just, they're really wanting to see for the next rain. We just had another contractor out supposedly fix the roof and the siding where it was leaking. So we'll see. Anyway, hey, Donald DIY blue collar, blue collar DIY. It's 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 quitting time. <laughs> so thank y'all.